everyone, Kevin Man here, and Hand. today I am going over another new Rip It flavor, and that Rip It flavor is the Melon Mania. No, 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 it's not. I just double checked. I was like, Melon Mania, that doesn't sound right now. That Melon Mania is a different company. This is actually called Melon High. Uh, hello. And then in subtitles, rather than just being watermelon, it actually says that it is goat watermelon. G dot O dot A dot T. So they're calling it the greatest of all time watermelon. We shall find out. That is an extremely strong statement considering how many watermelons are on the market. Extremely, extremely competitive. Can rip it, be that competitive, we'll find out coming right up. Hello again, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me today, where I go over everyday energy for everyday people. It is primarily energy drink reviews, but I do the occasional caffeinated product and caffeine safety video. So if that sounds right for you, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I post new videos every Tuesday night and one of the weekends. Also, be sure to check out my website, caffeineman1.com, where you can find out a little bit more about me and sign up for a newsletter where I went over what I went over last week, as well as what is going to be coming up this week, as well as how to save money with all my discounts that I have with my coupon coupon codes, save you guys a lot of money on energy drinks, check out caffeineman1.com. And in today's video, we're going over Rip It Melon High. Yes, Rip It is still around. I said that in my last video that I did last week because Rip It is still coming out with a lot of new flavors, even though you can't find them in a lot of stores, or at least a lot of stores near me don't really carry it. Therefore, I have to rely on some other people to send it to me. So another huge shout out to Energy Drink Josh. Energy Drink Josh sent me these drinks so that I can review them for you. So definitely be sure to check him out on Instagram where he posts pictures of energy drinks just about every single day. You are bound to see something you haven't seen before. Thank you again to Josh. So as always, I will show you a picture of the Nutrition Facts panel, or at least I will try to show you a picture. They do this thing where they have it on a silver background, so it really is hard to take pictures of and show it to you. Therefore, I will tell you that it has 70 calories, 18 grams of carbs from 16 grams of sugar, 150% of your daily value of vitamin C, 240% of your daily value of vitamin B6, and a whopping 830% of your daily value of vitamin B12. And this drink does have a little bit of high fructose corn syrup, as well as sucralose for its sweetness. Let's taste it out. So I'm gonna grab it from my Caffeine Man fridge, and like I said, you can always check out Caffeine man1.com for all my coupon codes but one of the big ones is uh, my c4 energy you can save at least 20 percent off on c4 energy when you use coupon code caffeine man at the c4 energy website and that coupon code is also good at cellular and extend and i always say at least 20 percent because if they're running a sale on the website my coupon code could be worth 25 percent it could be 30 percent off depending on how big the sale is but c4 has been coming out with a ton of new drinks recently they just revamped their c4 smart energy as as well as their ultimate. So be sure to check them out for what they have. And here's the can. As mentioned in the last video, if you didn't see it, I'm really liking the cans. They put a nice design on here. And the last one had this shape on there and design in the background. I didn't actually realize that it was actually a pineapple. And this is actually a watermelon in the background. Although watermelons don't grow these little things up from the side, only pineapples do that. But I like the colors and I definitely like the design over what they used to do with their other cans. Get a little bit more creative. Let's just get you guys into some more stores and let's taste it out. I have a very light pink color there, which is coming from Red 40. Oddly enough, they don't actually list how much caffeine is on here, which I thought was odd because all the energy drinks usually have how much caffeine is listed in the energy drink since, since it is an energy drink. I'm not sure if it's required by law though to have the caffeine amount on there. I know it's not on most of your coffee and tea products, but energy drinks have different requirements. And if you're gonna be picking up an energy drink, you usually wanna know how much is in there, but most of the ribbits have 10 milligrams per ounce, which is the standard amount. So I'm guessing it's got about 160 in it. Let's taste it out. Is it the goat? That last little bit should help me figure it out. For your carbonation, you are getting like a medium carbonation. Some of the companies have been switching up the carbonation recently to give you a lighter feel. And they're definitely giving you a lighter feel for this watermelon flavor. And for your sweetness, they are going medium to high, closing in on high. They're not hitting that high mark. And for the flavor profile, I'm also going to be giving it a, a medium flavor profile. It's not really closing in on high. They're going very, very light with this watermelon flavor. I'm thinking that's the theme with some of these new cans. Uh, the Yolo was extremely light 
light in the pineapple flavor and they're going extremely light in the watermelon flavor here and when it comes to watermelon flavors i usually like more of a candied watermelon more of a sweeter watermelon flavor because if you go too light in watermelon it's just kind of like uh it's kind of like a watered down watermelon and i know that watermelon itself is mostly water when you eat it but there's a big difference between eating a watermelon and uh, drinking a watermelon energy drink and in my opinion that this is not the goat of watermelon flavors uh it's very very light i think it's actually too light it's just too light in all the categories and even though some companies do go lighter with some of their drinks some of them can be lighter and refreshing but give you enough flavor and enough sweetness to, to, to make it worthwhile as opposed to a watered down energy drink but if you're someone who likes watered down energy drinks like my mom she likes to water down her energy drinks or you're one of those people who uh when you get to the bottom of your regular drink you know you only got like that much left and then you pour water in it just to give it like a hint of flavor then then you might like these drinks but that is how light the flavor is uh, in this drink so uh, let's go ahead and put it on the caffeine man rating chart that is a tough list to beat it is a tough list to get into the nines and with this light of a flavor uh, it's definitely not getting in the nines and it is probably not something that i would drink again if you're someone who knows my caffeine man rating chart where my 7.5s and my 8.5s are 7.5 and up i would drink again if someone gave it to me but i wouldn't really pay for it 8.5 and up i would actually purchase again and uh if someone were to offer me this and said hey you know here's a here's a here's a rip it you want it i would say um i think i might be holding off because uh you gotta have one of these other watermelon flavors somewhere or maybe i'll just have a water instead i am going to give this a uh, solid 7.0 it would be a toss-up whether i would like this uh, more than the monster rehab watermelon or not but i don't have to worry about it because i wouldn't drink either one of those again but it is not terrible of a flavor a seven is an okay flavor definitely feel free to try it out for yourself if you see it in stores near you and usually it's really nicely priced they used to be a dollar now they're probably like a dollar 25 with inflation for a dollar 25 why not pick it up if you see it 7.0 on the caffeine man rating chart thank you again to energy drink josh for sending me this to review i really do appreciate it especially since i can't get them near me and if you want to know a little bit more about my personality i did do a compilation video based on what my viewers and subscribers thought were the funniest moments that i had in some of my videos so feel free to check that out and if you're interested in finding out more about c4 that is one of my favorite c4 flavors and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and until next time have yourselves a great day or night